in the Kundalini rises, it makes sounds and the sounds that are heard in the different chakras can be pronounced in the following way. These pronunciations are being used in the phonetic language of Devanagari, which means the language spoken by the Devas. At the Muladhara, where there are four petals, the sounds are V, Sh, S, S, out of which last Sh and S sounds are very close, but the difference is when the snake This is, it makes this show the third sound. So, V, SH, SH, S. At the Swadhisthana, where there are six petals, It makes sounds six sounds. The the ma ye. R, L. Manipur, it has ten petals. It makes the sounds D, D, N, T, Th, D, Dh. Na, pa, ha. At Anahata, there are twelve petals. It makes the sounds pa, ha, ga, 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 cha, cha. J, J, Ng, T, T. At the Vishuddhi, where there are sixteen petals, it makes the sounds of all the vowels, a, a, e, e, u, u, r, l, 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 a, i, o, o, u, am, aha. At the Agya Chakra, it makes a sh. At the Sahastrara, one becomes thoughtless. 
I know song is made, but the pure anahata, meaning the throbbing, the purest form as in the heart is of lap, tap, lap, tap, lap, tap. When all these sounds are sounded together and pass through the spiral of the body, if the body is like a couch, The sound that comes out of the synthesis is Om. Like the seven colors of the sun ultimately become white rays. Or you can say the golden colored rays. Now the sound of Kundalini, I have told you in one of my lectures, how it creates sound. For example, at Vishuddhi it creates the sound of all the vowels that are in Sanskrit language. The English vowels are very few. Sanskrit language are a, a, E, E, U, U, Ru, Ru, Lulu, A, I, O, O, Am, A. These are the sounds that we should be looking at. <coughs> she creates sounds on all the chakras. But when she comes to Navi, it becomes a one. One means information. Coded information. That's the nearest to them. Coded information. First it is the Paravani, which you don't hear. When it rises from the Kundalini point, means Muladhara Chakra and Muladhara, then it is not heard. There's no sound. When it comes to the stomach, the Paravani starts. Then it comes into the center, where in the heart always you hear it, Madhyama, where you can hear it, lap, tap, lap, tap, lap, tap, just like heart, properly. With the stethoscope you can hear it. Then it comes to Shuddhi, it becomes a witness, means Pashyanti, the one who sees. I have noticed yourself when you are caught up in Vishuddhi, you feel the thing going on here. But here she sees. Then this sound, which is the sound with, with which you speak, when it comes to the throat, it becomes vaikari, it says. This is even before the Kundalini is there, the Vani, the coded information, the language which is first only coded, becomes decoded here, which is called Vaikhari, which talks. But after realization, the Kundalini enlightens the one, as it enlightens everything else. Because of that enlightenment, your mantras become enlightened. And that's how, when you say a mantra, it is effective, it's lighted. Before this, any mantra set has no meaning. It's just ordinary vani, just like in any ordinary person. So it is called as the mantra which is jagrut, awakened. So a mantra which is jagrut cannot be created out of a mantra which is not enlightened. Like if you have, say, a earthen pot, 
or an earthen thing like this, or this one as it is. And you have all the oil and everything there, still it won't give light, till it is enlightened. In the same way the mantra is nothing, it's just a dead form. Unless and until it is enlightened by Kundalini, it is from ordinary vani, which cannot give you enlightenment, and which cannot give enlightenment to the mantras. And that's why these mantras have no meaning at all. A person whose spirit is enlightened and his vani is enlightened, such a person, whatever he says comes true. Whatever he asks for happens. Even before he says something, the desire, the desire within us, which is the paravani, which is the coded information of the desire you have, becomes enlightened. And that's how you get the results. Suddenly you get something, you say, Oh, I have struck the jackpot, and Mother has done it. That's how it works. The whole system works out this way of Kundalini. So this pure Kundalini creates purity. Without the purity we cannot see anything. Anything that is impure, say, uh, say my hands are not clean, I can't see the lines. Anything that is dirty, you cannot see the real picture of it. You cannot see the reality if it is not being purified. But even if it is superficially purified or artificially painted, still you can always say that it is artificially painted and we cannot see the beauty of this one because this is done from outside. But Kundalini burns off it, bhasmes out, makes everything into ashes. And whatever remains is the pure gold of the Spirit within us. 